What's up YouTube, Capital G here, got another spicy duel for you guys to check out and quite possibly what could go down as the throw of the century. We got two decks that kind of do the same thing, but I think that they're obviously in different classes in True Draco and then obviously I'll send you down at the bottom. This is of course updated uh, format, that's why you see Dynamite here. There will be no masterpieces in this video, but you know, True Draco still have a lot of weapons and this is kind of an off the wall version, but man, this is what happens when you get so far ahead of your opponent and you just start kind of fucking around this is like tortoise and the hair level where the hair is just messing around messing around ends up losing the race but i'm gonna roll it and it'll be pretty obvious where the throw is it's it's beyond belief at this point so anyways uh let's see yo is open up first and you see he, have, he is actually playing Waking the Dragons in the main deck, which I think is pretty cool, but you can't really, like, you can't show your opponent Waking the Dragons off of uh, Pot of Duality. It's very similar to, like, Mirror Force. You can't really show your opponent it because it loses the surprise factor, unless, I guess, you get Mirror Force and you just don't want them ever to attack. But he's going to go Anti-Spell Fragrance. I think he took Droll and Lock. Unfortunately, Anti-Spell is threatened here. He chains a copy of Anti-Spell, so second copy, but that does allow Dynamite Knuckle to get the Apocalypse, so that's kind of unfortunate as he doesn't really get anywhere with his Anti-Spell Fragrance, and he can't even use his Tinky. So, I mean, right now, it's looking pretty dreadful. I mean, Winter Cherries generally can't even activate that card against true draco and then draw a lock because he doesn't really have a hand it's not going to do a lot if he would have went terraforming diagram whole spiel with that maybe that would have been kind of nice he is going to use draw here now and he even goes for the really big guy I've, I've actually seen a couple of people playing this card in true draco I'm not sure if it's necessary but i guess you do need some ways of beating over like really big monsters so this one requires three tributes and you know he's setting some cards he's going to go ahead and uh, i don't think he did he use card of the mize earlier in that turn yeah he used card of the mize so he can't do any battle damage so that's a little unfortunate Yo, Sinju player trying to fight back with uh, Utopia the Lightning. He's going to attack into it, but problem is he has his opponent has True King's Return, so it's not really doing much. He's just going to keep getting this card back over and over again. He has Slash Draw. Now, don't ask me why he is running Slash Draw in True Draco, because I don't really have a legitimate answer for that. Maybe he's just fucking around. He's like, Cap, check this cheese out. <laughs> Maybe that makes a lot of sense. He is going to get Ignis Seed off the field, which, I mean, I guess that kind of works, but his, um, his Utopia dies anyways, and he's not really getting anywhere as the disciple's going to give him another card he's going to play true on uh, draco heritage get even more cards and then he's going to uh, go ahead and duality and let's see this is oh my god did you miss it i'm sorry if you missed it it was too fast he plays slash draw and even though he ends up hitting another slash draw which nukes the entire board does anyone understand why he didn't win the duel yeah it's pretty clear it's because he played card of demise earlier in the turn in fact i think it was the first thing he did you guys like to say um well people like to say that pot of the uh, pot of desires is a neg nine that was like literally a neg nine he torched his entire field trying to flex on his opponents and now it's basically a top deck war it's anybody's game now so <laughs> yo Sinjus are back in this he would have actually easily otk'd his opponent with the slash draw burn effect but yeah he didn't actually get anywhere because he can't do damage for the rest of the turn because of card of demise so that was unfortunate and now he's actually getting beat down by comma one now his opponent is top decking more copies of winter cherries which is unfortunate i might have actually set on winter cherries i don't know if he runs a level 7 synchro in this extra deck probably not but i mean it could have been okay and the thing about yosinju's is yosinju's is actually a pretty decent top decking deck because all the monsters have pretty good stat lines the yosinju's and then they can all summon other monsters so he's going to attack true king's return is going to temporarily halt him as he's going to bounce the uh the big guy right back to his hand so at least that kind of stops him a little bit but <clears throat> with true king's return on the field still it is a little bit of a problem he's going to duality here does not summon for some reason i feel like he's actually like tilted but this is actually the last turn because when he goes to activate that true king's return uh-uh bro i did uh happen to top deck that spicy cosmic cyclone and now he can actually finish the duel interesting how these uh winter cherries just sat in the hand the entire time but you guys know he ain't had no business running slash draw in true dracos to begin with and uh <laughs> i guess i've never seen anybody like i never thought it would be possible to essentially kill yourself with slash draw but that's basically what happened he went about neg six on that uh that slash draw effect and basically took himself out of the game so just a little fun troll duel for you guys to watch anyways hopefully you enjoyed this duel thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already turn on that notification bell for daily videos